Before we get into the software, I want you guys to have a good understanding of the Lightroom 4 catalog system. We've discussed how basically data and not the images themselves is what is stored inside of the Lightroom catalog file as Lightroom is a non-destructive editor. So the images are actually stored separately. So let's spend a moment to understand the entire system more fully so that we don't run into issues down the road. So we've discussed how in the Lightroom catalog, all that's being stored is the actual data on the images that it's referencing. So basically what's being stored are the develop settings, the metadata, the attributes, and anything else that you might apply in that organizational and culling kind of features inside of Lightroom. This means that Lightroom is actually referencing those images that are somewhere on your hard drive. So Lightroom is referencing the images and what you're seeing inside of Lightroom is what's called a preview. So as you make changes to an image, you're not actually changing that image, you're just changing the preview of that image. And Lightroom is showing you what your image would look like if those settings were actually applied to it. Now from a file management perspective, this is extremely important to understand because we know that if Lightroom catalog file is only the database of basically all the settings and is referencing those images, then if we move those images somewhere else, it's gonna basically break the links or break all those images inside of Lightroom, meaning that basically Lightroom is not gonna know where you move those to, unless you are inside of Lightroom when you actually move those images on your file system. So if you're inside of Windows or your Mac Explorer, your Finder X window, and you actually move those images, it will actually break the locations inside of Lightroom and you have to tell Lightroom where you've moved those images to. Also, since we know that the catalog file is only a database of settings, we know that now backing up the catalog file is only gonna actually back up the database settings, basically the settings to our images, and not the images themselves. A lot of people think that that catalog backup feature inside of Lightroom will actually back up the images, and it does not. It only will back up the catalog file itself. Now, Lightroom does have a backup feature when you import your images, which you can select, and it will copy a backup of your photos to another location of your choice but the catalog backup system is not that feature and that will only back up the catalog file itself. So for this reason, we highly recommend that you guys basically keep the Lightroom catalog as well as the images in the same parent folder. Now what this does is basically it allows Lightroom to references the, reference those images inside of that parent folder. And if you wanna move the catalog or move the images, everything goes in one, in one swoop. So you just move the parent folder and you can move everything all at once and your links inside of Lightroom won't get broken. Even if you change the parent folder name, Lightroom links won't get broken because Lightroom is referencing a folder inside of that parent folder. Now, for those of you that are shooting large events, like let's say corporate events, weddings, portrait sessions, and stuff like that, where you're shooting hundreds, if not thousands of images at a time, we would recommend that for each event, you create a separate Lightroom catalog, and that'll prevent Lightroom catalogs from becoming too large and cumbersome to deal with. If a Lightroom catalog becomes too large, it will slow down. In addition, uh, when you have, let's say, 10,000 images in a single folder, moving these massive folders around from hard drive to hard drive becomes very, very cumbersome. For those of you that are shooting more casually, maybe 20 or 30 images from time to time, I would recommend that you guys basically store all of your images inside of one single catalog file. The benefit of this is being able to basically find and sort and manage every one of your photos all from one single catalog file. So again, the benefits of keeping each event separate is that Lightroom will run more efficiently and it's also easier from a file management perspective to move these catalogs and images around. The benefit of storing everything in one catalog is that everything is in one catalog. So if you need to search images that are shot in the past or do any organization, it's much easier from that perspective because catalogs are independent of each other. So in the end, despite the recommendations that we're making, this is something that you guys are gonna to wanna to decide based on your own photographic style and your workflow. But hopefully at this point, you guys have a good understanding of the Lightroom catalog system and how it exactly works. So let's move on to the next tutorial, guys.